First I'm going to start with my Ella Bache Botanical Oil. This is amazing for all skin types and it really moisturises the skin so we have a nice base to work with. Next I'm going to use my Ella Bache Moisturiser. I have been using this for years and it works wonders for my skin. I'm going to be taking my MAC strobe cream and using this as a primer for my foundation. I'm just going to press that into my skin, focusing on the high points of my face and where you'd want that nice highlight. Next I'm going to take my Tarte Concealer to use this as a base for my eyeshadow. This is a very full coverage concealer so I like to use this on my eyes to cancel out the purpleness and I'm just going to blend that in with my Beauty Blender. Once that is all blended, I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and set the concealer with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. The eyeshadow palette I'm using today is the Narcissist Wanted Palette. I'm going to be taking the two lighter brown shades and with a big fluffy brush I'm going to gently brush that into the hoods, I think it's called, of my eyes to create a nice base shade. Next I'm going to use the dark brown colour on the palette and I'm going to gently focus this on the outer corners of my eyes working my way up. I'm going to take my big fluffy brush again and I'm just going to blend that darker colour in with the lighter brown colour so it's a seamless transition. I'm going to be taking my Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palette and with the lighter shade I'm going to gently pat this on my eye working my way from the inner corner to the outer corner. Next using my favourite brow pencil by Hourglass I'm going to brush my eyebrow hairs up and then I'm going to gently fill them in starting from the bottom working my way to the corner. Once I've filled in my eyebrows I like to use the Benefit Gimme Brow and use this on top just to set the brows. I'm going to take the light shimmer shade from my eyeshadow palette and use this to highlight my brow bone. Today I am using a Huda Beauty foundation. I am actually not a huge fan of this one. It does give a nice matte finish. However, I just found it got a little cakey towards the end of the day. But I would have used my Estee Lauder Double Wear, but I ran out just before filming this. And with my Beauty Blender, I'm just going to blend this all around my face, making sure that I go down my neck, on my ears, and around my nose. Next, I'm going to be taking my Tarte Concealer again, and I'm just going to place a little bit under the eyes. This concealer a little bit goes a long way. It's very full coverage, um, but it has a beautiful finish. Using a big fluffy brush, I'm just going to take my Laura Mercier setting powder again, and I'm just going to lightly press this all over my face to set the concealer and foundation. For blush, I'm going to take the Hourglass Highlighting Palette and I'm going to use the two light pinker shades and gently brush this over my cheeks. For bronzer, I'm using my all-time favourite product, the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder and I'm going to gently brush this over my cheeks and on my forehead to give that nice bronze look. 
simple highlight today, I'm just using a MAC highlight cream and I'm gently going to pat this in before I apply my highlighter and I'm just using the two lighter shades from the Hourglass palette. Next, I like to do my mascara and I'm just using my favourite Too Faced mascara. Before any lipstick, I like to prime my lips with the MAC Prep and Prime. And I'm just going to be taking MAC's lip pencil in Whirl to line my lips. To finish my lips, I'm just using a MAC lipstick and I'm just going to apply this straight onto the lips. To finish the look today, I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and I'm gently going to use my Beauty Blender to press it in. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.